Hey guys, Professor Doni back. We're uh, finishing up talking about energy here. And we're going to move forward from talking about energy and going into the idea of power and eventually horsepower. And uh, talk about that. So our quick definition here, energy is the ability to do work. And we define work as a force that acts through a distance. Okay? Moving something through a distance. Um, so what we're going to do is look at... Um, Let's look at lifting. No, let's just look at moving an object. We're going to take this box, and our job is to slide it a certain distance. So we're going to move it over here. That's our job. Okay. And let's say the box has a mass of 10 kilograms, and we need to slide it. Uh, 10 meters just to have some easy numbers here. Okay. Now to slide this, we have to do a force. So we're going to push on it with a force. And the force has to push it that distance. What we are doing is doing work, force through a distance. We are putting energy into that box by increasing its speed. And it's really going to have sort of some kinetic energy uh, as it goes through there. We're going to push it and it's going to move and we get in there. Okay, let's say we're able to push it, um, I don't know, it starts from rest, initially at rest, and we give it a final velocity of 10 meters per second. Now, we're not going to worry about us pushing it and the distance and all that kind of thing. We're looking at the energy approach. So we could look at this force acceleration over a distance, initial final velocities, use our kinematic equation, but it's looking from an energy standpoint. Okay, initially here over at point A, it has, there's A, and energy at A is, uh, it has zero because it's just sitting there. It's still. The energy at B, it has, is all kinetic, which would be one-half m velocity at B squared. Now, where did it get energy when it had none? It started at some and it had none. And conservation of energy says, hey, it, uh, what, you're making this stuff up. What's going on here? What's, uh, what we have here is we did, as I said earlier, did work on the, on the box. By having a force through a distance, we added energy to the box by doing work on it. We worked it over, all right? If you think about that, you know, your fist punching into somebody's head, not a good thing, but working somebody over from that definition, the Sopranos kind of thing. Uh, so we do work on it. That basically adds energy to the object, which it did, it added kinetic energy. And we could calculate how much that is. That's half times one for the mass, oh, 10 times 10. And the velocity was 10 squared. So that's 100. Half of that is five. That's going to be 500 joules of energy. How much work did we do? Well, we had to do 500 joules of work because um, that's how much energy has. Now, we could kick it back into here. And if we set 500 equal to force times 10 meters, it would tell us what the average force was we use, which will be 50 newtons, to make that happen. So we could go that way too. But I want to look at an energy thing and a horsepower thing uh, as I'm running out of time. So we put 500 joules of energy in there. Let's say at uh, this job, they're saying you have to do that in five seconds. You have to push that 10 meters every five seconds you got to accelerate that box okay if we look at how much power that is power is defined as energy over time or the work done over time we did 500 joules and they want us to do it in five seconds okay that's going to give us 100 joules per second now joule per second is more commonly known as a watt when you think of a watt you can and should think of light bulbs okay so we need a 100 watts of energy to, or power to do that. Now, we would want to sell an engine based on watts. We like to say horsepower because that's a little more whatever. If we take the number of watts and divide it by 746, it tells us the horsepower engine we would need to do that. So if I take 100 divided by 746, that's the conversion, comes out to be 0.13 horsepower. Not a very big engine, lawnmowers, probably even smaller than a lawnmower. But it gives you an idea. Horsepower, again, this assumes 100% efficiency for you car folks.